This is a short excerpt from a piece I wrote about my mom's journey with Alzheimer's as she gradually lost her ability to articulate who I was to her. It's called Who I Am. So mom, do you know who I am? Every morning when I'd call my mom, I'd tell her I was Sue, I'd ask her how she had slept, I'd ask her what she was wearing, and then I'd ask her if she knew who I was. I sure do, you're Sue. Triumphant and proud, she often punctuated this declaration with a laugh. Yep, I am. And do you know who I am to you? That's where it could get interesting. For a long time, she always said, you're one of my daughters, or you're one of my four children. Then as descriptors and connectors started slipping away for her, her answers became more convoluted, more cryptic, more curvy. I wonder if it's strange that some of my favorite answers are the ones she gave after she had lost some of her grip on her label of herself as my mother. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but we've known each other for a very long time. This she answered very thoughtfully one morning, trying hard to be precise. Another day, her response was, are we in the same family? I affirmed that we were and continued gently, do you know how we're related? A moment's pause and then her response, I think maybe we're cousins. Gradually, mom's confusion over time and age stopped surprising me, but I still found it unsettling when her words would spell out for me just how lost she was inside. On that day, I was her cousin. On another, I became her sister. And then I was a very good friend. I realized that in her mind, I had gone from being the generation below her to belonging to the same generation. Not long after that, either I hopped up another generation or she hopped down. I think she was the one who moved, because when I would ask her how old she thought she was, she gradually de-aged from in my 60s down to 22. On the day that my 84-year-old mother told me on the phone proudly that I was her mother, I thought I had finally heard all the answers that there could be to my question. Even as I corrected her, I knew that I was doing it for myself and not for her. She was happy either way, mother or daughter. After a few more months came another of my favorite answers. I don't know exactly, but I know that you're one of the really good ones. I figured I could live with that. It was definitely better than the alternative. <laughs> and then it was December 23rd of 2009, and I was sitting next to my mom in the lamplight of her studio apartment at her assisted living home. She was in her beige corduroy recliner, nestled cozily under the puffy flannel quilt that I had made for her, her short legs propped up on the footrest. Her cheeks were a bit rosier than usual, and very uncharacteristically, she was, a, she was quiet and a little sleepy in the middle of the day. I sat at her side, just quietly stroking the soft skin of her forearm, letting her drift peacefully in and out of her nap. When she woke fully after a while, I just couldn't resist. My right hand was holding onto hers while I traced a path on her arm with the fingers of my left hand. I asked her, Mom, do you know who I am? Her calm gaze was especially tender, and her smile was at its sweetest. Her eyes warmed me as she answered quietly, I sure do. Who am I? I couldn't stop brushing my fingers against her skin. I needed to touch her. Her answer was just, I love you. That was all she said. And that was the last time I ever asked her that question. She had no more answers in her, but I probably didn't need any answer other than that.